Give me some lovin'. Well, the clip for Give Me Some Lovin' was interesting to say the least. Um, Ganga Jang didn't really exist as a touring band at the time that record came out. Um, it was basically a demo of the song and uh, we ended up getting a deal for it with Polygram Records. And, and because we hadn't done a clip for it, the only clip we'd done was a bit of a demo at a studio, a rehearsal studio, that was run by one Jeffrey Stapleton. Just look there, you've probably, there he goes, walking past. That's Jeffrey. And we actually managed to con him into being in our band, which he's regretted ever since, I'm sure, especially with the making of this particular DVD, which he's done a wonderful job on, I must say. Someone told us about a backyard TV studio in one of the suburbs of Sydney who would be, and these people would be prepared to do a, a clip for us for, for a reasonable price. So we went out to this very quaint little house in Panania and uh, met up with the, with the guy that was going to shoot the clip and his son wanted to be the makeup person. It's wild. <laughs> we went out there and there was this um, studio and um, the son, who I think did makeup for the drag queens up at Lay Girls or something. Okay. Did our makeup? Well, my sisters and my sister was fairly straight. You managed to get away. Didn't you? I, I ran away, um, and my sister had this amazing. She looked like she came out of Lay Girls or something with this crazy makeup. Actually, quite suited the film clip. Um, and I, I think Margot Callahan might have done my makeup because I just looked at my sister and went, uh oh, no, don't let him near me. And um, so I think Margot did mine, and uh, I was pleased with that. But that was, in the end, when they shot that footage and they showed it. The on the back, rear screen, the yeah. rear screen, I thought it really worked. The resulting footage was colourful, but not very usable. And we thought, oh well, you know, we'll just uh, worry about that one later. Then, of course, the record company asked us to make a clip and put some money into the pot. So we called up a friend, two friends of ours, Tony Stevens and John Witteron. Tony, who had uh, both of them actually had done Men at Work clips, and. Uh, we spoke to them about the, the sort of thing we wanted to do for Give Me Some Lovin'. And just for a laugh, I showed them this clip. And they said, oh, that's pretty interesting. Why don't we saturate the colour, throw it up on a screen behind you, and then the band can stand in front of it, and um, you know, we'll do kind of a performance clip like that. So we set up in front of this giant screen in Newtown, in a, in a studio in Newtown. And a few takes of the song, bit of colour behind us and voila, there's a beautiful clip. Uh, I think it's probably one of the, the best clips that I've been involved in and uh, enjoy it.